welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla, thanks for joining me today. Today we are doing a rush order for these two Wrangler shirts. I just picked them up from a customer in town yesterday. They are for a local bull rider. The rodeo's this weekend and he needs them ASAP. So we're gonna get them done quickly. I sent my designs out last night to uh, my digitizer and he got them back to me really quick. So I have my printouts for us to place. Um, this one I didn't have to get digitized. It's just a simple copper plate font with a little teardrop uh, or water drop. I bought the water drop off Etsy. Combine the two, that one was easy, but these two I did get digitized. Um, so let's go ahead and place them. I already did my test stitches and everything looks great. I always run a test stitch. You should always be running a test stitch. If you don't, do it, um, because especially on a customer supplied garment, you wanna make sure it's gonna come out absolutely perfect. These stitched perfectly, so I'm excited to put them on. Uh, this one, this little one, it says just a drop. It's the name of an essential oil shop in town. Um, this goes on the sleeve. This other one goes on the sleeve. It's uh, Park Ranch Meats. And then this is Park Ranch. Same person, two different companies. Um, but yeah, one goes on the chest, one goes on the sleeve. The other one goes on the other sleeve. So we've got two to do and they need it ASAP. So let's get it done. All right, we're gonna start with the easiest one first, which is the front left chest. It's just gonna go right above the pocket right there. Um, I don't really need this T-frame cause I'm basically just getting as close to the pocket as possible. Um, and then I'm basically just centering this on the pocket just so it looks uniform. Usually I go directly in line with the collar but I don't want it to be off center from the pocket. So on this one, we're going off of the pocket, which is gonna be right about there. I'm going to tape it in place. Um, sometimes I use like packing tape. Sometimes I use this heat tape. Honestly, it's usually just whatever I have closest. Um, so that looks good. Now the top of the pocket is a little crooked, so I'm making sure the design itself is straight. You guys have heard me say before, I consider myself a professional eyeballer. So I like to hold it up, make sure it's straight, it's good. I have my stabilizer already um, ready to go on here. The bottom part of my hoop is in here. So this is ready to be hooped. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. I'm at kind of a weird angle, um, but I have my heavy cutaway hooped. I would use black since this is a black shirt if I had any, but I don't. So I'm just gonna very carefully unbutton the shirt and I'm gonna take the shirt and I'm gonna lay it across like this. And what I'm going to do, shoot, this button's probably gonna hit the frame. Hmm. I think I'm gonna leave this open for now. Let's see. How can I do this? I'm gonna tape this pocket open just for now for me to hoop it. Cause that pearl snap is right where the hoop needs to go. Okay. Now I'm looking at my design and this vertical line right here, I'm gonna make sure is lined up with the vertical line on my freestyle stand. Okay, I'm gonna place the top of my hoop. Make sure everything is in line. These pearl snaps are making it a little difficult. So maybe this isn't the easiest one. We're gonna snap. And this is a, did exactly what I wanted it to do. Now it's just gonna lay over the top and it's not gonna be bulky under the frame right there. So that's gonna be perfect. And we are straight, we're good to go. Um, I have a little bit of uh, like loose fabric right there. I'm gonna pull just a tiny, tiny bit just to make it a little bit more taut. I'm not gonna pull it a whole, whole lot because I don't want any puckering once I take the hoop off. So that's all I'm gonna do. Now let's go to the machine. So when you put your um, shirt in, especially when you hoop it sideways like I did, make sure you flip your design on your screen. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing hanging out of the bottom. And I have it centered on needle number one and I'm gonna contour trace to make sure I'm not gonna hit the top of the pocket right there. 
which I should be good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to, uh... okay, now we're good to go. Now we're gonna stitch. Okay guys, so a little bit of a change of plans. I just finished the JP logo on the front left chest. I'm actually going to be changing the Just A Drop Real Thin logo that was gonna go on the sleeve to the front right chest because the customer just messaged me and said, hey, I have one more brand that I need to get on these. Is it too late? I contacted Dream Digitizing. I said, hey, this might not be possible, but is there any way you can get me a design in one to two hours? They said, no problem, place your order. So I'm waiting on that right now. It's a, uh, it's like a taller design. So I think that one would look better on the sleeve. So this one's gonna go on the front right chest and then the two sleeves are gonna get the bigger designs. So I'm just waiting for that one. Um, I went ahead and just did the other one with the JP logo. I think that's what I'm gonna do instead of doing all the designs on one shirt and then moving to the other one, just so I don't have to switch everything on the, uh, you know, on the screen and everything, rotate it, size it, everything. Um, I'm just gonna do the same logo on each shirt and then move on to the next logo, do both shirts, move on to the sleeve, do both shirts, so that way the logo is just staying the same um, all the way throughout. So we have one logo already done. We're gonna do the just a drop on the front right of both of these. Um, and then I will show you how I hoop the sleeve and we're just gonna keep going. So yeah.
Okay, so now we're on the sleeve part. Um, this left, or sorry, this is the right sleeve, is gonna get this Design Park Ranch Meats. And when I do a sleeve, I like to go um, five inches down. Like I want the top of my design to be five to five and a half inches down, depending on how big the design is. I have found that that is kind of like the sweet spot. Now the good thing about this shirt is it already has a crease on the sleeve for where the center of the sleeve is. So I'm going to line up my design off of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape it in place, but instead of using heat tape, I'm gonna use packing tape just cause it's stronger. And this is gonna be kind of tight, putting it onto our freestyle stand. I just kicked the camera, sorry that's shaking. Um, so I wanna use a strong tape while I try to hoop it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hold it up, make sure that's straight, that looks that looks pretty good. I might alter it just a tiny bit to the left. Perfect. Okay. So now for good measure, I'm gonna add just a little bit of tape to the sides. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring the freestyle stand over. Okay, and I'm gonna take the sleeve and I'm just going to slide it right on. Like I said, it's going to be a little tight, but I know it's not gonna be this tight on the machine. So I'm fine with it being tight while we hoop. Let me straighten it out a little bit. This way just a little bit. Perfect. Now I can't get it to go all the way up just because the sleeve is getting pretty tight, but I think we're good. Grab the top of my hoop. I just realized the entire camera moved. That's nice. I don't know how much you guys just saw because I realized that I kicked the camera and the entire thing moved. Um, so I just slid the sleeve on. I can't get it all the way to where this is centered in the hoop, but I know I have enough room on the bottom. So I think we're okay. So I'm just going to line up the top of my hoop, make sure my design is straight and snap. Okay, now I'm gonna very carefully bring it out. Of course, it wants to uh, be stuck. And the last thing I want is for it to unhoop because I have it absolutely perfect. Okay, I figured it out. The uh, the little flap that holds the stabilizer down is caught on the shirt. <laughs> My goodness. There we go. Goodness gracious. Okay, I've never had that happen. This, uh, this little flap right here, the shirt was caught underneath it, so that's what I was pulling on. Guys, editing Kayla here. I just wanted to hop in because I know I'm gonna get some questions of like, well, why didn't I use the sleeve hoop and, and things like that. The sleeve hoop, which I do have, um, the width on it is 4.25, and this design was just barely too wide to use the sleeve hoop. Um, and I don't have the stand for the sleeve hoop, which I'm saving up for because I want it really, really bad. Um, but yeah, so those are reasons why I didn't use the sleeve hoop. I have used the 5x5 Mighty Hoop many, many times on sleeves and usually it works perfect. This shirt was just a little too tight. Um, the only reason it got stuck was because of that little flap. So it works absolutely perfect. On the second shirt, I didn't use the stand. Um, I just, you know, did the old school way of hooping by putting it inside the shirt and lining it up. And it took a few times um, because I didn't want to get stuck on the flop again and ruin my hoop. Um, so if you're doing a shirt with a really tight sleeve, maybe just you know stick to the old way of hooping so that you don't ruin the uh, the little flaps that hold your stabilizer down. Um, so yeah, before I get a bunch of questions about why I didn't use the sleeve hoop, that's why. So here we are, nice and hooped. It is perfect. So we're gonna take this to the machine. So obviously you wanna be very careful as you put this on your machine. You wanna make sure you don't have anything tucked underneath, especially with it being the sleeve. So I'm just gonna very slowly and carefully put it on, make sure the opening of the sleeve is going under the sewing arm before I push it all the way on and we're good. Okay, now we're going to change our design on the machine. All right, I traced it and we're good to go.
I didn't have to rotate it or anything because it's going straight, you know, straight forward on the sleeve. I'm going to double check again that nothing is tucked underneath and that the sleeve is good. I have plenty of room down here. It's not tight at all. So it has plenty of room to move and let's go. I also want to add right here, um, these tails that I get on my embroidery is so annoying. I asked about it in my hands-on training at Depot Summit and the tech told me to send him an email and I just haven't yet. Um, I saw my to-do list this week. Um, but he said that it could be like a timing issue, it could be a setting issue, like a parameter issue, it could be my, um, like my tension spring bar thing. So I'm going to email him pretty soon. But just so you know, believe me, I know these are annoying. It takes way too long to clean up my embroidery. Um, so yeah, I hate those. <laughs> and hopefully I will get it figured out soon. And when I do, I'll do a video on it. Okay guys, same day, different outfit because I'm getting ready to head out. This legit was a rush order. I It is due like right now. I have to go drop it off at the boutique, but I wanted to show you guys how it turned out. This is the last minute logo that got put on, so that turned out great. There's that one. The Just a Drop. The uh, Park Ranch meets right there. So I did... So got two of them done and yeah, they turned out great. So now I got to go deliver them. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick rush order. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video.